Lantern Rite has arrived, and for our account, a chance to get a free 4-star character. Welcome to episode 5 of 4-star only, an account where we only roll for 4-stars. Yeah, Lantern Rite technically started last week, but for us, Lantern Rite starts now. So in this episode, we're going to be doing the games of Lantern Rite in order to earn Prima Gems and in order to get our free 4 star. I've already decided who we're gonna get for our account, so hold on to your seats because I'll reveal it at the end of the video. We've also got this event as well. I think you get a, a range of characters randomly, meaning that we could get five stars in this, but I think you can choose which ones to use, so it might not be as difficult as I expect. We've done May Fortune Find You as well, so we have five wishes to use, and we have, ooh, and we have one of these to claim, and we have three other wishes that we can purchase too. I don't know who's coming up next. Let me have a look. I think they announced them, right? So Yao Yao, Ying Guang, and Xin Yan. Hmm, it would be good to get some constellations for them. But I still really want Xing Cho's weapon. Well, it's not Xing Cho's weapon. It's the sacrificial sword. Any of the sacrificial weapons I'm really interested in. Yeah, I think we can get a four star. So we can do a last hurrah and try and get this weapon for Xing Cho. Because I think it would benefit him immensely to get this weapon because it is so useful it's the skill cooldown man it would just make my life so much easier there we go there's our four star pray for sacrificial sword oh no it's another sack frag you know what that's not the worst that's a good weapon to at least have any of the sacrificial weapons are at least good to have except maybe the sacrificial claymore how long are we doing on this banner we have one to burn not a four star i know we also need to ascend our other characters but we need to get to adventure rank 25 we're currently adventure rank 24 hopefully we'll do the event and then we'll go up to adventure rank 25 we're not doing the recommended quests a little while later and there we go oh no we need to do more quests to unlock it no Oh, we have a waypoint. I didn't even know that existed. Well, at least we can get to Chenyu Vale easily. That's pretty good. Oh, okay. We gotta, we gotta talk to Fujin first. Prettiest NPC ever. Oh, I didn't realize if you went in Lantern Rite, she had a special dialogue option wishing you happy Lantern Rite. I think you have to go there for the first time after you do the quest though. Ooh, I never, I never saw that on my main account. I can't believe they have dialogue for that. That's so cool. That's so cool. I never knew they even had contingency for that. But sorry guys, I'm just very impressed. At least I can see alternate dialogue options because I literally never knew. I guess some of people would be experiencing this for the first time in the Lantern Rite event. There we go. We should be able to do all the games now. Yeah, we can do all the games now. Let's go see Guwara and Yure. So cute. I mean, I think Guoba and Yue count as 4 stars, so we don't even have to play as a 5 star. We're still playing as 4 stars only. All done! Let's get our Prima Gem rewards! Oh. It's so satisfying. I don't like to claim them one by one. I like doing them all together. I just be more rewarded that way, really. Let's do iridescent cloud steering. Let's jump on some blocks. How do I get over here without dying? No. Do I have any stamina food? No, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. No. F. I have another solution. I see this guy. Does this guy move his raft? Can you take me across the river, sir? Right, I'm gonna get up on the next stop. Easy. Bye, Bozu. Thank you for the ride. All right. Oh, by the way, thank you so much for two gay guys. I'm really happy that everyone likes the videos. It sounded way better than I thought it would. How many videos have I posted? Like four videos. That's pretty cool. I will. I will get complacent, and I'll continue working hard no matter what. Uh, 
not today. I don't want to rush this challenge at all. I want this challenge to be at my own pace. Obviously, I can only do one video a week, but I would really like them to be at a slower pace. So you'll get a lot of episodes, which are just me farming or me doing events so I can get primo gems, but I'm not giving myself a timeline. I'm just taking it as my own pace and letting the game events guide me. Let's collect all our rewards. I wonder how many Puma gems we'll have after this. I don't know how much you get, but I think you get a lot. Right, we're almost done with our festive fever. All we need to do now is the Wushou. So I was going to originally do this with people, but I just think how my schedule has fallen. I don't think I'll have time to go live and get people to help me with. So I think I'm just going to do it on my own, just how, how my filming schedule goes. Sorry if that disappoints everyone, but next time I'll be a lot more prepared. Maybe it's a social anxiety with me, but I wonder what other people are going to think of my name. They're going to think I'm crazy. Hello? Are you going to press a tick or... Okay, cool. Sometimes I do forget to actually press the okay button, so I'm not going to I'm not gonna be rude to that guy. Cause I, literally, I literally have done this so many times. So if you do see me, then I'm very, very sorry about that. <laughs> four stars are gonna win. To be fair, most people are playing with four stars. You know what? It's like they knew. It's like in the spirit. It's in the spirit of the challenge. And the traveler, eh, debatable really. I do like the co-op events though. I think they're actually really nice. A lot of people don't like them. I think it's fine. You don't have to like talk to anyone. You don't get a lot of interaction with other people in this game unless you have, unless you have friends who specifically it's nice to have people interact with each other. Oh no. Who took my spot? Itoma! Well, at least there's another four star enjoyer. This is so awkward without music. When I record, I have to play without music because it is very much not good for editing. Although they're not directly related to building four star only characters, I am going to try and do most events just because they give you so many Prima gems and so many resources as well, which are really important. Oh my gosh, just two Gomings and a Beidou. Are they going to be four star as well? <gasps> We're gonna have all four stars. Look at that. Four star supremacy. I'll get you for that, bro. Get you for that. Don't disrespect the four stars. I am the king of the castle. Oh, look at my little rock. This is actually majorly competitive. I will win! I won! Four star supremacy. I think we only need a few more to get to get the full Prima gems. If this was an eSport, I would win. Why am I so good at this one? I really don't understand. That was great. Huh? What? I got an achievement for that? What, what achievement did I get? What did I What did I get an achievement for? Oh, complete domains with each other. Does that count? I didn't know that. Oh, I did it! I did it! You got all the Prima gems. Now witness. The most satisfying thing in Genshin Impact. And then watch. Look at all this. And it just keeps going and going and going and going and going afterwards. This is this is why you need to do it simultaneously. Just a tip. 
And then the teapot feature I'm never going to use on this account. And there we go. We've got every single thing on Lantern Right. We don't need to do all the story because we don't need to unlock the things. So we can now get Sincho his drip. Ooh, I'm so excited. This is our first skin on this account. The skins are very hard to come by, especially for a free to play. So here we go. Sincho's got his new outfit. Look at him, he's so adorable. And as we're only getting four stars, we don't even spend anything on skins. Because as far as I know, you get four star skins for free at events. We can also claim the rest of our reward. More satisfying Prima Gym collecting coming. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. More useless items we're never gonna use. And then the thing you've been waiting for. Or the friend at the doorstep. You may invite one character into your party once Festival Fever reaches 800. And we have reached 800. So, who is the four star that I'm going to pull for? Well, I consulted the comments and a lot of you guys said I should go for Yao Yao. And I kind of agree. I've been very lucky with the character selections that I have had. I have Shang Ling, I have Xing Chou, I have Ming Guang, I have Ga Ming. I know we can go get constellations for Xing Chou and it'd be great to have constellations for him. However, at the moment in this early game, I'm focusing more on just getting a wide range of characters. So it probably won't shock you to know, but I actually am going to go for Yao Yao. We haven't got any Dindro yet, and we won't be able to until we get Kale. Yao Yao is also a healer, which is something we only have when we have Barbara. Yao Yao is also a very, very strong character as well, and very cute. So we will be going for Yao Yao. Be inviting Yao Yao to our team! So cute! Our little bunny girl is here with us! So these are quite easy to get, except the gender hypostasis, but that's fine. We can just travel to Sumeru and ascend her. Well, let's get her up to level level 40. If we have enough XP to get her up. Try to get us up. Yep, there you go. And get her up to level 40. And let's see what weapons we have for her. Ooh, we have a black tassel. That will do for now. She can have some HP. I mean, I know Favonius is better, but she she can have she can have HP for now. That's pretty solid at early game for our little Yao Yao. Now we can start doing a virgin reaction. So in this particular team. Welcome Yao Yao! I have her in a main account she's always been good to me. She is so underrated in my opinion. I don't know if Yao Yao's underrated, but she's definitely not overrated. We're going to temporarily remove Noelle. And just so you know, just because I'm removing a character from my team doesn't mean I'm not going to use. I'm not going to use the character. That's not exactly how it works, obviously. I need to build eight characters and I'm going to try and build as many characters as possible because obviously you need to have a wide range of characters. We don't know what the abyss is going to be like when we finally try and beat it. We don't know if it's going to be a very geo heavy one. We don't know if it's going to need like dendro reactions. We don't know if it's going to need strong DPS, hyper carry. It could be anything. So as most pro Genshin players have, we have multiple teams. So don't worry if Noelle gets kicked off my team. She's not gone. I'm not benching her. We'll at least be building one character of every element. But our rota is slowly growing. This is a fridge, fridge virgin team. I'm not quite sure what type of team this is. I'm not quite sure what team this is. There you go. Now we got some HP for Yao Yao. Ooh, a whole 6k. Now the next thing is to get up to adventure rank 25. We're gonna start ascending our characters. How many do we need? We need to get 2302 to adventure rank 25. Ooh, and that means we can also get up to world level 2. Wow, Yao Yao's really helping us. She's making everything easier. Making, it's making everything a lot easier. Gaming is no longer a life support. And Zinsho looks way better. AR25! Our first Ascension quest. Let's see what our adventure rank wards are. And these aren't very useful for us, unfortunately. But this will be useful for us. 
Ooh, but we get two if we do the Ascension quest. I've heard they've nerfed this quest, and I am I remember it being pretty tricky when I was a new player, but I think they got rid of the hyperstasis. So a lot of it is literally just fighting nothing. Yeah, it's just a bunch of healing charles. I remember there being like a rune guard and everything like that. I wonder why they nerfed it? Maybe I'm just looking like an old old person who's like, back in my day I had to struggle to ascend. I do think it's good to give players a challenge though, but maybe people were... You have to remember a lot of people on Genshin are very casual players, so I guess that maybe some of the casual players were complaining that... Maybe some of the casual players were complaining it was too difficult. They didn't have time to invest in their character. Wasn't there an abyss mage as well? No, I swear, there was like a rune guard, there was an abyss mage, there was everything going on. It was insane. This is literally just like free hilly drills. What is this? I I'm sorry, but this is just a little bit too easy for me. <laughs> Maybe I have a better understanding than actual new people would, but the whole point is this is a game is just challenging, right? Or at least a little bit challenging. This is like the least challenging. You just have to level up your characters. I always used to be so anxious about it, but I understand it being accessible for everyone. But if you can't handle higher enemies, how are you gonna play the game properly? It's like a DPS check to see if like your characters can handle the higher levels, right? What do you guys think? Do you think they should have nerfed the Ascension Quest? Or do you think it should have stayed the same? Or do you think it should have been nerfed but just not as nerfed? Well, we're in world level 2 now, so more drops, more challenges. Oh, we can get Lynette as well! Lynette. I'm not really sure what Lynette does though. She is sub DPS. Hmm, I think she might be good. We don't have Sucrose, so we could we could replace Kaio with Lynette and have the Animo to spread around. Let me just level her up. So many clicks. Think about who I want to ascend. So obviously we're gonna be doing a are we gonna be doing a lot of building? We can get to Lynette's quite easily because we can now access Fontaine. So we'll be able to go to the components. So we don't have that much to get to ascend her up a bit more. So we could put Lynette in our team for now. She's cute and a cat girl. And that is... Look at her little bow. She's so cute. I'm not sure, quite sure what she does, but I like the team. I like the Animo and Dendro. That could be kind of cute. Okay, so let's just go through our characters real quick as we're now World Level 2 and Adventure Round 25. So we have Gaming, Xingqiu, Lynette, Yao Yao, Noelle, Kaya, Zhengling, Ningguang, Farazan, Hazel, Lisa, Amber, and Goro. I'm Barbara. We need to go get our our shrines, but I don't know where all the shrines are. I don't know where the shrines are. How many? Ooh, we have 1,162 gems. We have four quaint fates from all our ascending and... I think we'll get a four star. I think we're gonna get a four star. Even if we don't, I can use a bit of my primo gems. Any four stars? Number three. Nope. Oh no, we've gone straight to pity. I do not have a plan for wishing, guys. Nine? Oh, I, I miscounted. There you go! Next four star! <gasps> Dory? Uh, sure! Mm, Dory is here as well! Cool! What does Dory is an electro healer, right? What does what does Dory actually do? I've literally never used Dory in my life. I am not sure what's going on. As the sun sets on this episode, we reflect what we have learned from this experience. We have gained three new four stars in this episode, two of which I'll probably use. Our teams have been further redefined as we head on to the second phase of our four star only journey, floor four and floor five. In next episode, we shall journey to the edges of the to explore Fontaine and get the precious materials needed in order to further our characters to be yet stronger and stronger. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I, I just felt like being dramatic today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe for more, please. Bye bye